up guys just wanted to make a random random video and I'm out for a walk I've been doing a lot of walking lately and uh, my parents are walking somewhere but yeah it's kind of just helped walking a little bit I guess although my knee's been hurting but I don't know it's just like it gives me gives me a chance to just like mindlessly move my body like very very lightly and gently which I think is a good thing and when I'm feeling all these die-off symptoms which I'm feeling a lot of them uh, it's kind of hard to walk because of my limbs from a brain injury and stuff but yeah, it's just kind of nice to put myself out, especially when I walk in places that are like nature, like this. Like, I'm just trying to, trying to just be and accept how I feel. And it's hard, it's honestly hard to be around people and talk to people, but it's kind of nice. It's, really nice to just be alone <laughs> and not have to talk to anybody because it's just a lot of energy my body is already expending so much energy detoxing that like having conversations with people and talking a lot like I am right now it's exhausting um, also I guess I'll talk about the benefits I've been feeling of intermittent fasting some more but I've been specifically doing I've specifically been eating just one meal a day the warrior diet <laughs> and I think there's huge benefits it's like you only have to eat once a day and so like the rest of the day you're just super free and like in healing mode which I really think is cool <laughs> yeah it's cool <laughs> That's a great description of what it is. It's cool. Um, but I think it's just, it allows your body to like fully like expend its energy on healing. And so basically I'm like, I'm fasting. I'm food fasting for like 22, 23 hours every day. And then I am, um, there's a building behind me um, and then for one hour I just eat like a huge a huge huge meal and it's like the most ginormous meal you've ever seen in your life I'm basically doing pretty much what vegetable police is doing and I don't know if you know who vegetable police is but I, he's like one of the main people who I watch on YouTube who I actually like spend time watching just because he's pretty funny but yeah just when you when you're fasting like your body is in like healing in healing mode and so it's just it gives your body a lot of time to deal to digest the food and then also after it's done digesting and assimilating and all that stuff then your body is dealing with the rest of the stuff that was already going on that it needs to deal with and so I like eating one meal a day and by the time I eat that one meal in the day and it's usually in the afternoon like early afternoon actually it's been kind of in the early evening but by the time you eat that meal, it's just like, oh, food, yes. Like, it's just so good. It feels so good to eat that one meal. And so, yeah, I guess I just wanted to mention that. And I'll probably make a better video about that. But I was just kind of out. And I filmed some time lapses out in nature and stuff. And so I wanted to talk about something but the waves in the background are super loud so I don't even need, know if you can hear this but yeah but yeah 
I just wanted to make make another video and I was I guess I was planning on talking about the one meal a day and I did and like I said I want to do kind of a more extensive video of like what I'm eating right now because I've been I mean I've been feeling a lot of die off so that creates a bunch of symptoms which suck but there's a lot of benefits that I'm feeling like lack of certain types of inflammation and uh, like mood is a little bit better and when I'm doing this when I'm doing super low carb um, I feel like my mind gets pretty clear like I my men, my mental ability is pretty dang sharp it's just that the main con of what I'm experiencing is just a ton of die off and I'm taking a lot of anti taking anti microbial supplements and I'm taking eating a bunch of different herbs and things like that that kill off stuff because I'm just trying to get all this stuff out of me and consuming like coconut oil which I know that I always I get die off from coconut oil for sure and so the one another thing that is like is like a bad thing about what I'm doing right now is um, because of the antimicrobials I'm taking and I'm, I haven't been taking activated charcoal lately so I'm just feeling all of the die off um, one thing that I've noticed is that my sleep has been not very well or not very good uh, and it's I think it's just because I've been having die off like all day and so my body is just kind of like kind of has a lot to do in as far as like dealing with that even though I have energy to do things but it's just my sleep hasn't been good and I don't know if it's also it might also be from not having a lot of carbs so I feel like I do sleep better when I have more carbs so it's just kind of it's interesting and I always I always eat like super low carb when um, super low carb when um, I'm around my family and so that also could be a factor just why I would be not having good sleep just not eating carbs and that sort of thing so yeah oh yeah another another benefit that I'm noticing from doing super low carb and one meal a day is that my anxiety is definitely much well it's complicated with die-off but like social anxiety or like anxiety of being around people that like goes away like a hundred percent and like I've talked about it before um, where it's like when I'm around people like you can't shut them out of your brain sometimes or I guess I can't and when I'm doing this like low low carb intermittent fasting then I can my brain can like shut things out super well and so that's a super benefit as well but I also do I also do get I have weird I get different symptoms with like sounds and so when I have die off like higher pitched unexpected noises really kind of hurt my brain and like it's just like activating my brain like oh like makes my brain like freak out at these sounds and I do get a pretty bad startle kind of like like scare like adrenaline fear quick fear response to like sounds uh, but like after that sound is gone then my nervous system was like okay like we're back to normal but it's only, it's like when I have die-offs that this happens. It's like my nervous system gets super sensitive to 
unexpected high pitch noises or higher or actually any noise it just feels like it's scraping my brain and yeah so I think I think that's the video I think I've just kind of talked there's people walking on this trail and I'm trying to like navigate so I don't have to be like facing them but then facing them would make it so you can see the nature and so <laughs> it's a complicated world but uh yeah thanks for watching the video but yeah thanks for watching the video and I guess I'll see you I'll see you in the next one Hey, and I also wanted to just say thanks to all of the people that are commenting and watching my videos and uh, just I appreciate all of the comments and all of the kind words and I know that the reason why you're watching my videos is because you're on a health journey too. And so I guess I just wanted to say that you got this and you just got to believe and at the end of the day just be with where you are. This is mostly to me but a reflection to from me to you and yeah just you got this. It sucks. It is horrible to go through the things that we have to go through. And at the end of the day, just be and be aware of everything you're feeling and where you are. And now is the only thing that exists. So just remember that and you got this and when you're or for all of you guys that are going to do the turpentine it's not a magical healer but it can be a good tool and I it hasn't healed me that's for sure but it's just something that's kind of in the, the toolkit that I'll probably pop it out, whip it out again soon. <laughs> um, yeah. But you guys got this. We all got this. It sucks. It's a roller coaster. There's pain, there's just nasty discomfort and unknown. We're all going into the unknown, but the unknown is the fun zone. That's where the real stuff happens. So just remember that the unknown is the fun zone. Obviously you jump off like a cliff or something I mean, I guess technically it's still the fun zone. You'll just be in the fun zone as a spirit, not in your physical body, which is cool. But I'm sure that you probably want to be in your physical body in the fun zone. Because I'm sure that there's a lot more to have done here on earth so where have I gone to <laughs> alright feeling out of it from die off and then fasting but, uh, uh, but yeah you guys got this we got this just breathe believe and I'm gonna stop talking so
pace. I always talk so weird. Like I'm in the country. I think it's just because I'm out of it. Yep, I'm still talking. All right.